Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel. And of course, today was Patch Tuesday, and it's a pretty big one, too. Uh, we haven't had such a huge Patch Tuesday in quite a few months now. So what is happening with the security updates? First of all, very important to actually install these. There is a reported total of nine zero day vulnerabilities, uh, some that are actively exploited by hackers, which means you just have to go to the right web page where uh, code has been, you know, embedded within the page and you're, you know, basically they take control of your PC, do what they want. It's very important to install these. Total. So if you're wondering why uh, today's update might be long to install on some machines, a total of 117 flaws are fixed. Now, that said, uh, this is across all uh, different services and all different software of Microsoft. So it's not 117 in Windows. It's 117 across Windows, Microsoft Office, Windows Server, and so on and so on. So Windows itself has a lot less, but still, in the 117 flaws, it's 13 that are classified as critical. So there are critical flaws in Windows Server, critical flaws in Microsoft Office. So all the software, if you use different software from Microsoft, update everything today, as there are some critical flaws almost in all of their different products. So um, in Windows, there's uh, nine zero days that are fixed and that four of them are actively exploited by bad guys. So that gives you an idea that you could easily get bitten if you don't update. That's why security updates are the most important thing to apply to a machine because they're the ones that keep you safe, not your antivirus. Uh, people tend to think, well, I'm not going to install this, but my antivirus is there just to check. This Your antivirus is useless when a bad guy uses one of the flaws in software because it doesn't detect that. Um, and it's easy to actually deactivate an antivirus once you have control of the PC. So basically, um, it's important to install them. In there, we have Windows certificate spoofing problems. We have the Microsoft Exchange Server remote code execution. Another one is elevation of privilege. Windows ADFS security feature bypass, Active Directory bypass. We have the famous Windows print spooler remote code execution flaw, or what is known as print nightmare, uh, that has a fix in here apparently. So I don't know if they are addressing also at the same time the uh, printers that were actually not working uh, due to this problem. There's Windows kernel elevation of privilege. There's scripting engine memory corruption. And there's Windows kernel elevation of privilege vulnerability that, oh, not, those are not publicly disclosed. But the thing is, um, is that now they all know it exists. So that's also another thing. You know, when we talk about zero day flaws that are actually exploited, once the security bulletin is out with Windows Update, it gets even more critical that everybody installs the security updates because now the bad guys, the hackers, know where to search because they have a hint now of what's wrong and what could be a problem. And now they can actually actively exploit what they weren't exploiting before. So it becomes even more important as we go uh, through the security updates uh, today. So lots and lots of stuff. Uh, Apply your updates. It's very important to do so. Um, this is one big patch Tuesday. Uh, it's been a long time since we had so many things. As for um, other, um, there's a lot of important severe, severity um, um, problems. These are less, um, they're more difficult to exploit, so they're not as bad because you need often need somebody to actually have physical access to your PC to uh, have them running. So uh, there's a um, couple of uh, Windows Defender um, execution flaws also. So your Windows Defender app has uh, remote code execution 
vulnerability, two different flaws that were discovered. That's important to fix also. Uh, and other, just be checking out quickly here if there's any other things of note, but uh, no, for the rest, a lot, a lot of important flaws. So if it's longer than usual, of course, it uh, might be that this is a big patch Tuesday. Um, one of the things that happened to me was uh, just nothing special. So if you are installing this, be patient. Uh, let it go through. If it seems it's not doing anything, just don't touch anything. Last thing you want to do is shut down your PC thinking it's not doing anything and break Windows Update. Uh, leave it alone and go do something else. Come back. It'll be done at some point. Uh, in my case, I started at 1.02 p.m. At 1.17 p.m. everything was done. So for my computer, 15 minutes from the clicking Windows Update search to the download to the install. So it was a very quick install on my fast machine, but on older machines, it could take a long time. So patch your system, guys, because it's extremely important. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.